Are you ready to roll the dice? Thank you for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to start my first match in the UK BGF League uh, quarter 4. My opponent is a Rad. Okay, this is match 11 and I start with 4-1. Do I split? No, it's boring for me. Let's slot on the 5 point. He replied with double 3. The correct play is making the 5 point and the advanced anchor. Double 5, what is this? So 1, 2, 3 for sure, making the five, uh, 3 point and then starting 8. Alright. Now he got a double shot. He got a, he, he can hit with a 5, of course. Alright. Now he leaves three brats. Three one. Okay, I'm very happy to cover my five point. Yep. Then four one. This dice. Okay. Uh, yeah, he can make his five point, of course. Now I got some chance to attack him. Two one. Okay. Let's hit with a two. Then how do I play a one? One idea is just hiding a blot with the 3 to 3. But is that is this a good idea? The race is close. Yeah, I thought I'm behind in the race, but the, the race is close. Hmm. What can I do? Actually, I want to split my back checker. Yeah, so let's do that. Then 2 5 for him. Okay. He just safety won his blood in my outfield. 5 4. It's a great shot. So I have two options. One is hitting outside, another is covering my 4 point. Which is better? Uh, if I cover my 4 point, 5 should be this. Then. It's not bad. It's not bad. Hmm. It's not bad. Okay. Another option is, of course, uh, hitting outside. So, if he hits back with a 4 or a 2, the game will be even. If he doesn't hit back, I'm clearly the favorite. So, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, he danced. Of course, I'm going to double. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Take seems clear because he also has a strong home board. He made a 5 point and a 10 point. 1 4 for him. Okay, coming in is great for him, but the 4 is not so great. 10 to 6 is the, is the safest play, but it loses his 10 point. So what is his best choice? Wow, double 6. What a great dice. Then I can complete a full prime like this. But the best way should be attacking on the ace point. I'm pretty sure about that. 5, 2. Okay. I'm going well. Still fine. Alright, I complete a closeout. This is the best sequence for me. Then I wanna pick up do I need to pick up the third check girl? Maybe I am almost to win gammon, but yeah, let's pick up another check girl. Let's do that. Here, as long as he doesn't hit me, my gammon winning chance will be yeah, close to 100%. Then, what can I do? 5 for sure. Bringing 1 checker, like this. 6, 2, okay. Now I have um, 
no bad situation after even though I roll double six. This one is tricky. Four to three is reasonable, but uh, maybe maybe that's the best play. How about five to four? I take this one. I take this one. Okay, just play safely. He danced again. I play safely again, but the next I have three bad dice. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. He danced again. Wow. After I clear my four point, I have many bad numbers. The combination of three, four, five, six, which is twelve numbers. If I play this, my bad numbers are six one five one four one three one eight numbers. So it should be safe for I believe so. Let's do this. Okay, I left a shot unfortunately. Wow. Oh he missed. I got lucky. Yeah I got lucky. Alright, he came in. So my game winning is guaranteed. Maybe Oh, okay. I expected expected it to win back game, but now it's impossible. So I'm very happy to win the four point. Now with five one, I'm not gonna slot on my five point because I'm ahead in the race. In that case, I play a little bit conservatively. Three one, good dice to make my five point. Six three, he's happy to fill his five point. 5-3, yeah, let's make my 3 point. Then, what's gonna happen? Okay, he didn't hesitate, so hit 2. Oh, I danced. Now, he's going to double, of course. Yeah. So, how many checkers he has? Uh, 9. I'm gonna say 9 and a half. So if the score is 0, 0, it's a very easy take. And even at this score, it must be a take. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 6-2, he cannot cover his ace point. Now, I had a chance to hit him with any ace. Come on, ace. That's what I want. Great. It's a great dice. Excellent dice for me. Now he got into trouble. Does he make the anchor? Really? Oh, it's worked. It's worked. I couldn't hit him. Now, 6-5. He can cover his power point and A point. Great. I want to roll a 6. I did it. I did it. Then, with a 2, I believe 13-11 is the best choice. The problem is that he comes in and attack me. I dance. This sequence hurts me. Yeah, this sequence hurts me. But uh, it does not happen so often. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Oh, he danced again? Do I redouble? No. First, I have to roll a 6. 3, 2. Yeah, now it's, it's time to make a point. Okay, he comes in and come up to the 18 point. It seems natural. 4-3. I can hit him, but I cannot do hit and cover. Do I need to hit him? If I don't hit, 13-6 should be a normal play. Mm, wow. What can I do? Can I leave it? I'm inclined to hit him because my back checker is trapped. Yeah, let's take a risk. Is it too too big risk? One three one six two three two five two six four three twelve shot. I can accept twelve shot. Yeah, I can do that. The problem is my follow up. Maybe my follow-up is not so great because six is duplicated. I want to 
uh, run my back checker is at 6 and want to cover my bar point. But the alternative is display. Mm. Maybe display is okay. Not so bad. Mm. Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, I don't have a strong opinion. So yeah, let's hit him. Let's hit him. Okay, he hits back. And I didn't dance, but uh, I don't have anchor. 6-2. This is not his best dice because he cannot attack me. Now I have a chance to roll row sixes or any aces. Come on, okay. Any aces, great. I'm very happy to make the anchor, uh, which I call a butterfly anchor. His 4-3 is not his best. He's wondering. Wow. Yeah. Moving back check forward is a great idea because my whole boat is not so strong. 6-2. What can I do? It's a big problem. I think I have to hit him. First, I need to hit. Then, do I leave my anchor? Or I just play 11-5? Which is better? Oh, it's a headache. It's a headache. Yeah, yeah, let's leave the anchor. Maybe this is the best uh, time. Oh, he danced. Wow. And double six. Okay, what I, I do? I have many options. But probably... One, two, three, four. This is the strongest play, I think. Now it's too good. I continue to roll the dice. So win gammon. Oh, now he secured the anchor. Oh, but I could hit uh, his second blood. That's great. Okay. Oh, double six. One, two, three, four, like this. I don't leave a blot on the eight, uh, my eight point because it's cause it's a problem uh, because of his double four, which is a tremendous joker. Okay, I completed my bearing limb. Double six is a great dice. Now I cleared my 5 point. So I'm almost guaranteed to win the gammon again. Wow, today I'm amazingly lucky. Alright. 6-2. Yeah, I think my gammon is uh, yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, 100%. Whatever he rolls. Okay. Now the score is 8-0. I'm 3 away. He's 11 away. So split and down is a common opening play in backgammon. He is the tempo hit. And I, I luckily uh, secured the advanced anchor on the opponent's seven point. Two three is not his best dice. What he can do? Does he make the butterfly anchor, which is uh, the name of the three point anchor? Yeah, covering the one point is also another good idea. Two one. What can I do? Wow, it is a headache. Do I leave two blood in my outfield? Now he has many shots. I th I'm afraid it's too many. Yeah, six, twelve, more. Uh, I think it's too many. So let's play safely. Let's leave no shot. Three, two. So finally he secured the butterfly anchor. Oh, but he's... Okay, he did it. 3-6. Uh, 
I can hit him. Maybe is it the correct idea? If I don't, if I don't hit, I can slot on my four point. It's also fine. Yeah, probably hitting is a very nice play here. Okay, he hits back, of course. I cover my nine point, which is a very important point. Four three is not his best. Running back checker is my first in intuition from 22-15. Wow. This hitting does not seem effective. Yeah, because his border is weak. I I will get too many return shots. Wow. He did it. And I danced. Oh my goodness. For two, he's happy to cover his five point and lump his backman. I danced again. Oh, he made his four point. Now I got into trouble. I have to come in, but I danced again. It seems an easy path for me. Uh, race, he's ahead in the race, but not by a lot, just by four pips. Wow. I don't want to take this cube, especially at this score. Let's drop it. Alright, the score is 8 1, so I'm 3 away, he's 10 away. This 6 2 is a little bit boring because I don't have many option, good options. He hits me. Okay, I hit back. It's a pre uh, nice shot. 5 2, what he can do? Not much, not much. 5 2, so let's make my 11 point. Then, oh, it's a pretty shot. He can make both his 5 point and 3 point. I like it, I like it. I like this idea. It maximizes his game winning chance. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh, 1 6 is great. Yep, uh, I jumped out his prime and hit him at the same time. It's so strong. Okay, now what I can do, I cannot hide my blood, so do I make my three point? Is it a good measure? I don't have a strong opinion, let's do this. Then he hits me, very happy. Hmm. Okay, uh, this two is unclear, this two is unclear. 18-16 uh, is another good option, yeah. 18-16 yeah, is pretty good, I think. Okay, he made his mind. I danced. Alright, he doubled me again. Now the race is almost even. He's going to make his four point board. I have eight checkers in the outfield. That means I have many, I lose many gammons. So what can I do here? He has four back checkers. It's a big, big downside. But at the same time, he has 11 men in the zone, which is strong. And the race is almost even. Okay, I drop this cube again. Of course, the biggest reason is the score. I'm three away, and now he's nine away. He, he hits me, and I come in with a four. Wow, double four. It's a powerful dice. But he played very quickly, and I danced again. Oh my goodness. How many times I dance, dance, dance? So, uh, against the three point ball, two checkers on the ball must be a drop. But the downside is that he slot on the ace point. And he, he don't have many carbon dice. Any sevens, twelves. 
any 7 is 6, any 12 are 3. So in total, uh, only 9 numbers. He is a huge underdog to cover his ace point. But again, at this score, I think I'm going to drop it. All right, I'm three away. He's eight away. So he's coming. He's coming. 4-1 for him. Just split them down. Must be a good choice. Down and slot is, I think, it's too much. Too much. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yeah. He agreed with me. Okay. Hit two checkers, putting two checkers on the board. 5-4. Five, 5-4 four. Five, four sure. And I start splitting my back checker. 3-2. Three, 3 should be making the, the golden point. Which is the opponent 5 point. And, but 2 is a big problem. Big problem. Maybe 6-4? Yeah. Because 4 is duplicated. Oh, he changed his mind. But I don't like his choice. Uh, I have a stronger homeboy. So he's not happy to have a hitting contest. Okay, at least. Oh, again, he attacked me? Wow. His style is very aggressive. Very much aggressive. Oh, he never dance. He never dance. Here, he can make his ace point and bring, bring down a builder from the midpoint. Okay. 3-2. It's a pretty good dice for me. His 3-2 is... Uh, yes, yeah, so basically he don't have a... He don't have he doesn't have a timing to keep two anchors. Okay, this double ace is awkward, so I switch. Five two. He covered his four point. Five two. Yeah, this play should be okay. Mm -hmm. Five two for him. Five two again. Do I leave the anchor now? Do I leave the anchor now? No, I don't think so. 6-4. Starting 3 is the op only option. Leaving the anchor is uh, no, 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 no. It's never happened. It's never be correct. Yeah, starting 3. It just looks natural. Let's do it. Let's do it. 6-3. Okay. How about this? I think it's a good choice. 5-1. Uh, he has op two options. One is running back checker and another is uh, covering the three point. So which is better? Hmm. It's not easy. Maybe it depends on the quality. Oh, okay. Now, what's what's going on? So, alright, 5-1. What I can do is make the 3 point. Yeah, I think so. It gives him a direct shot, but uh, he has an inner block, so it's not easy for him. Now, he has a solid 4 point board. This is great. I don't want to leave a shot anymore. Yeah, I, res I respect his home board. Now, what I want to do is leaving the anchor with a 7. Nope. What can I do? Do I leave the anchor like this? No, it seems crazy. No, 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 no. But to, so what? So what, what can I do? Okay. Let's kill checkers. It seems crazy, but I believe this is the best option here. 3-2, wow. Now he has an inner blood. So maybe I can challenge like this. Maybe. Or do I kill my checker again? Like 6-1? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure. 
I might be stupid. Now he stopped and start, th start thinking about the cube. Okay? Alright? It seems reasonable. Double three. Oh my goodness. My double three is totally blocked. And two one. Two one, two one, two one. My advantage is I'm ahead in the race, but not anymore. And I keep, I have many wastage, which is a checker on my ace point and three point. This is not a good structure. Okay. Oh, I love uh, seven. Yeah, let's move it like this. I believe this is fine. Otherwise. I'm gonna play this. Maybe this is better. Maybe. Maybe this is better. So this is 5. And 2 is a 2. What can I do? Just minimize the shot? Yeah. No. I chose this one. Now, he stopped and start thinking about doubling Q. But of course, I have the ad advanced anchor, so it should be a very uh, easy take. Now, it's more interesting. Wow! What a game changer! Yeah, I left a shot, but if he misses, I just uh, win the game. Double five! What is that? Oh my goodness! Now, <laughs> and double six? What strange thing is uh, happening, going on? It's so strange. Okay, I'm ahead in the race by a lot. But uh, he already took one checker off. But I think I'm still in a big favorite. So let's double. Let's double. So, I'm almost guaranteed to finish in 8 rows. Alright. He took the cube. Double ace is a good dice? Yeah, maybe. No, I don't think so. Double two. Hmm. So he has hmm Wow he's he's going well now he missed yeah he missed so I'm the favorite now okay I just won the game yep now I got to Crawford alright uh, one away eight away oh four two again so what can I do yeah a classic play split them down double three okay yeah let's hide the blood how about the race okay the race is almost even oh this one is great it's a great ace yeah because of the score I don't want to lose gammon he will get to oh, Six away after he wins gammon. Six five. What can I do? I can do this, but next, what's gonna happen? It's just a big problem. So let's clear my midpoint now and created a spear checker. Oh, I got hit. It was not good. I didn't want to get hit. Alright, 6 2. I cannot hit him. 5 3. He hide a blood. 5 1. Yeah, let's make my 5 point, which I love. Then. Okay. 
the game is going on 6-4 all right moving my back checker now okay i got the shot but i missed i missed unfortunately and he had a blood he has enough racing lead which is good 6-4, okay. He cleared his 8 point. I run one, one back checker. Oh, I got a shot. Wow. This is amazing. This is amazing. I didn't e expect it. And I hit. Wow. What a luck. What a huge luck. I'm super lucky in this game. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I will be super unlucky. So, yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah. yeah. I don't care about, about luck. Yeah. Because I cannot control it. Yeah. I only focus on what I can control. Oh, he missed again. Wow. All right, now I won the game and match. Ooh. All right. Thank you for watching the video. Oh, my PR is good. I played well. Hmm. So if you like my uh, video, please subscribe to my channel and leave some comment. I wish you good luck and good dice. Bye for now.